see me? Yeah, you can see me. Okay, I've got a push button start. And I know it works because I already had to jump at what I did. There's a green and white wire that goes to the solenoid on the engine. So I just unplugged that and put a alligator clip and wires this side to the battery, this side to the solenoid of the starter. Just pushed a button enough to get a starter to get in here and then I just unhooked it all. So um, I unhooked the battery already. And now I'm just gonna, I wanna put the, the button like right here. I'm not sure what's behind us, so we're gonna find out. I never, I haven't pulled this apart yet, so we'll, we'll find out together what is going on at the same time, I guess. So this holds fuses, and this is gonna be in the way, so I'm just gonna pull these out. There's a lot of stuff going on in this panel, because you got the choke and the, the throttle and the keys, or the key switch and the, PTO button, so I'm not sure how much room is in there. So I got this smallest push button starter I could get, or that that part store had. So we shall see. Well, that's not too bad, there's lots of room back there. So, see that? Yeah, you can see that. So, the only problem I have is this right here. So I'm gonna have to bring it down to a boat. But right there in the center of the skag part. So that should not be a problem. The only problem I'm gonna have is, I have a half inch drill bit. And this barrel here is uh, three quarters of an inch, so I'm gonna have to file the opening just to get a fit. So this won't be bad at all. Won't be bad at all. Okay, that's in there like that. So one, two, that back in there to help hold it. assume anything on this so I cannot make a mistake I'll burn every so, there's the green and white wire right there so This is bad. It's a relay. Well, it could very well be bad.
But anyhow, okay. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Cause I have to get this running, so um, I'm just gonna leave this all hooked up. I'm not unhooking anything. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna splice into this wire with a scotch block and I am going to run a separate power from the battery up into this block here. Okay, I had to go plan all this stuff up before I continued on because it was just wrong. Okay, see any of that? Yeah, you can. Okay, um, things are always taking a little bit longer. I routed the wires down and through wherever they were to get it back up to this panel. So I'm going to uh, put this together here. This is a heat shrink. Should be this one right here. And it is tight. I'm just using a heat gun. switch. As you can hear, I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but Abra gets blowing his leaves. And that is tight. Okay. good. What I decided to do, instead of a scotch block, I didn't like the how thick these wires are and then I did a test crimp on this wire here and it cut it. So I'm just going to solder this two together and then uh, I don't have any liquid tape right now so I'm going to have to go buy some. I'm just going to have to make it through the day with just regular tape. So. Okay, so now it's coming through there, through there. That'll work out good. And that's what happens when you don't have any feelings in your fingers anymore. You can't hang on to small stuff. But that's okay. Should not be any problems with that. 
And you're gonna wanna have this go until it bottoms out and then tighten up this nut on the back. Which I thought I had a wrench set in here. Oops, it fell. Takes care of that. We're just going to run it to leave it a little bit long in this case. And I'm just going to tie strap this all together. And there's the granddaughter making noises every video. <laughs> so, anyhow, where's that? And I forgot that them, them pliers don't cut nothing off. That should work all good. Let's uh I know that's a lot of solder and it don't look pretty, but it's holding. I don't I'm not really concerned what it looks like, I just want it to hold. Yeah, I'm missing third players. Make sure the wires are shoved in there. Okay, and that's done. I am going to put tape over it right now. I'm just going to wrap this in tape for right now until I can get some uh, um, liquid tape later today. I thought I had some, but I am out. So this will hold for the day. It's not going to be rain. It's not going to be getting an salt or anything. So it should take care of it. So. This is on the wrong side of that. Do I have enough room to do this? Yes, I do. Yep, that went out just about right. I should take care of that. Missing a bolt. Okay, bolt fell off someplace. I guess I'm gonna have to find that. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's hook up the wires and see if this works. And I hit my 
button, this should turn over. Perfect. So now, put that on there and we'll put this all back together. I don't like how that is there, so. That comes through there. I like how this looks. Snug but not tight. In this case, I want to move in moving parts. Just yet. Later, I don't like them, and I'll move them. Right now, should be pretty decent. not touching the metal. I know what would happen. 
never got around to doing anything more. Just end up rubbing through them short and all. See me? No, you can't see me. There you go. Okay. And that takes care of uh, what I had to do this morning. It was a little bit of a lengthy process. Uh, we're about two hours behind where I wanted to be, but that's okay because we should be able to finish up what we need in just a few hours. And I might be able to get a video out there for you on the lawn yet. I'm not sure yet. But anyhow, we will see you at the next yard.